image. An instance of RPC 085 1, circa 1967. Registered phenomena code RPC 058. Designation and the spiders from Mars. Object class Gamma Yellow. Hazard types Sapient hazard, mechanical hazard, extraterrestrial hazard. Containment protocols. RPC-058 is contained via the ongoing diplomatic efforts of authority personnel in the efforts to keep up good relations with RPC-058 entities. As per Protocol 058 Sigma, RPC-058 inhabitants are to be convinced that Earth and its inhabitants are not a threat to their nation and that the solar system belongs to them. In the event Protocol 058 Sigma fails, several nuclear weapons are to be launched at RPC-058-2. Protocol 058 Sigma. Radio transmissions from Site 099 are to be sent to RPC 058 2 on a regular basis to keep good relations. Communication with RPC 058 1 instances is to be done via standard English. However, a translation guide for RPC 058 1's version of Morse code chirping is to be given to all personnel assigned to relations with RPC 058. Description. RPC-058 is the designation for a group of anomalous mechanical entities currently inhabiting a section of Mars. The mechanical constructs, henceforth referred to as RPC-058-1, speak via a collection of chirping noises assumed to be Morse code. They claim to be sent on some kind of mining expedition by the native species, which is organic in nature. Following incident 058 Delta, an RPC-058-1 instance was recovered at Site-099 for further analysis. Upon further measurements, they are approximately 5 meters tall and built of a mix of titanium and a foreign material. No known technology is found inside RPC-058-1 instances, excluding a laser point defense system and what appears to be a miniature nuclear reactor. Despite their claims, RPC-058-1 instances possess numerous advanced weapons systems, including point defense and tracking. They claim this is due to the possibility of hostile entities in mining operations. However, no actual mining capability has been discovered thus far. It is believed RPC-058-1 instances may be a scouting expedition by a previous unknown extraterrestrial group of interest, labeled the Rejected by RPC-058-1 instances. Note. Project Blue Book has hence identified this group as ET-003. RPC-058-2 is the designation for the housing facility for RPC-058-1 instances. It is a large cube of unknown composition with several openings on the outside for RPC-058-1 instances to enter and exit. The top of the structure is lined with solar panels, assumed to be how RPC-058-1 instances stay charged. The structure was not recorded to exist before 1967, and thus is theorized to have landed there sometime during this time period. However, there is no record of a structure this size entering the solar system. There is instead record of a small probe entering the solar system at this time, which is theorized to have been RPC-058-2. It is believed the probe may have carried some kind of nanobot containment structure, which was then released to form RPC-058-1 instances and RPC-058-2. It is unknown at this time. The origin of the probe, however, it is assumed it came from the uncatalogued group of interest. Interview log 058-17. Interviewed. RPC-058-1 instance. Interviewer. Researcher Khan. Forward. RPC-058-1's speech is translated into English for the purposes of this document. Begin log. Researcher Khan. Say that again, please. RPC-058-1. Is mining a colony? What is? Colony. Oh, I see. Yes. What are you mining for? Mineral. And that mineral is? All of them. On the planet? That is gold. Earth is next, hopefully. Note. The word for Earth was worded as rock in previous encounters. Beg your pardon? Pardon is begged. Oh, right. I forgot. 
Oh God, you're not human. Yes. So why do you want to mine earth? Minerals. But the minerals belong to us. Not anymore. Can't we be a vassal of the sushi or something? Ah, yes, that works. So we can keep our minerals, yes? Yes. End log. Closing statement. RPC 058-1 instances never mentioned mining the earth again.